And welcome in to the corner of Nine Mile and Woodward in Ferndale, Michigan, the site of the annual Woodward uh, Dream Cruise. And this is Dream Cruise Roadshow here on Detroit Public TV and worldwide at dptv.org. Uh, I'm Fred Nahat alongside our co-host uh, Bob Lutz providing the commentary for us. Appreciate you being with us. Good to be here. Eric Gorgeous joins us uh, as well on the street talking to the owners of these various uh, automobiles. Uh, speaking of which, let's get back to it, uh, uh, Robert. The next one up is a 1941 a Cadillac 6227 Coupe. Yeah. Um, beautiful. Uh, yes, uh, it's in beautiful shape, obviously totally original, um, which is always a joy to see. This was a, a business coupe, which was not one of the more popular body styles, but it was, you know, the base priced Cadillac. Uh, back in 1941, uh, when the nation was basically started the war, uh, there was a 42 that came out, but not many of those were sold. But the 41... Uh, really carried successful and wealthy people in the United States throughout the whole war. Throughout the whole war, and uh, back then, since there were no German luxury makes, uh, no Lexus, and no Infinities, if you drove a Cadillac, you were at the top of the heap. And the uh, the 41 was a, a product of Harley Earl's Design Studios, and I think it epitomizes an era where every GM car was just a little bit more elegant and more perfect than the competition. Um, and this is the Cadillac, the, the 41 Cadillac kind of epitomizes that era. It's a beautiful car. Well, what, what also is so interesting is you go close in uh, on the wheel uh, cover, uh, the insignia, that Cadillac symbol is virtually the same as you see it today. Well, I wish it were. But uh, designers like to change things, mm -hmm. and they recently got rid of the wreath from the wreath and crest. Much to my dismay, but everybody at GM thinks it looks better this way, so I guess, you know, I guess it does. Yeah, well, actually, that's, there's no wreath on that one. It's similar. So what's old is new again. It has, it has evolved, let's put it that way. Uh, well, listen, we are uh, looking at a virtual uh, evol uh, evolution of uh, automotive history here at Nine Mile and Woodward. And this, the 41 Cadillac uh, Coupe, we're going to learn more about that. Here's uh, Philip Fisher uh, with Eric Gorgeous. Eric, over to you. Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah, very, quite well, thank you. And your name? Helen. Helen, nice to meet nice you to both. Thank, thank you. you. Nice to meet you, What sir. a great car. Tell me about it. Well, we've owned it about three years. It's a 1941 Cadillac Coupe. Uh, they only made 1,985 of them in 1941. 1,985? Total production for the year. Are you sure year. about yeah, that number? Yeah, yeah, positive. Right on the money. <laughs> <laughs> Powered by a 346 cubic inch flathead V8 engine. They use it in the M24 tank and the M5 tank during World War II. And then it proved itself quite well on the battlefield. So is this a car that you sought after, you had to have, or something you just saw and, and fell in love with? Saw it, fell in love with it. My internet purchase, and I've been happy with it ever since. It's yeah, a great touring man. car. I'm telling you, the internet today, I was talking about that earlier, it makes it so much easier for car guys, you know, exactly. to find parts and find the car you want. Yep, absolutely. You know, it used to be you had to know somebody that knew somebody that knew somebody and, you know. Exactly. Whole bunch of phone calls and next thing you knew, you'd find the car, you know. Now it's right at your fingertips, a matter of seconds. So for us, we were able to talk with the original owner and get a lot of history on the vehicle as well. Really? Yes. And so what kind of history do you give you on it? Well came from North Carolina and he'd had a large collection of cars and this was amongst them and he used it a lot for uh, touring and driving around uh, when his own you know, when his own when he used it because 41 Cadillacs are very popular for touring cars because they're just they run so well. Oh I so, gotta believe it's yeah. a pretty cush drive. It is it is. Right and I love the hood ornament on it man that's just awesome. They don't do stuff like that no, anymore. No not any longer. It's like, yeah. I had to get stolen, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that one is a latch, so I had, they have to take the whole hood with it. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. Hey, thank you both for well, thank coming you, out. Thank you so much. Eric. Wonderful pleasure. car. Thank you. Thank I absolutely nice love it. Nice to meet you, Eric. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Have a great evening, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Fred.